Earlier, however, Mr. O'Grady had been treated well. Initially, he was kept in the basement of a barber's shop near the Phoenix Park in Dublin, belonging to another of the accused, Jared Wright. While there, he asked for wine and a thriller to read and got them. However, that was to change when, later, he was brought from Cork to Wright's house in Dublin. O'Hare chopped off two of Mr. O'Grady's fingers there in the belief that the Daras were stalling. Although O'Hare himself was to blame for giving wrong information as to where instructions could be found in Limerick Cathedral. O'Hare had stayed away from most of the locations, but unknown to him, his ransom calls were monitored. Here are some extracts. I just sent word to my man to chop off two of his fingers. So I don't know what fingers they're going to chop off. So I'm going to pick up his fingers now. Yeah. So give me your home number so I can tell you where to get them. There was super glue on. It's probably stuck underneath the actual statue. No. The statue was on top of a table. Well, it's just cost. It's just cost John two of his fingers. Now, and I'm going to I'm going to chop them up in bits and pieces and send fresh lumps of them every fucking day if I don't get my my money fast. Now, I'll ring you later and tell you where to pick these fingers up, the photographs and the notes. The gruesome message was left in Carlow Cathedral. O'Hare's hasty action cost Mr. O'Grady two fingers. Today, it cost O'Hare twenty years in prison.